loud <laughs> Headed to a safe place Can you relate to my predicament? I'm in a vicious cycle But it never ends I might get clean for like a few days But it's a constant struggle I need strength I don't have faith And I'm insecure A self-conscious man That feels agony I can't feel the void Now usually I don't like Drinking hot drinks But this Junior Mint Hot Cocoa Is so freaking Tasty Has little to nothing in it Welcome to a new video guys Hope you all are having A great freaking week This one We're gonna be discussing Some new life topics That we'll be having In the near future so sit back, relax, enjoy the vlog, grab a little snacky poo, and uh, let's get to it. Spoke, you might be wondering yourself. Who did you figure out the Dish Network controversy? Yes, I called them and they said it's all canceled. So I was waiting in my bank account for my money that I deposited for their work or whatever, but it's never shown up yet. So I thought you and I would give Brian a little call here and see what's going on with all of that. A few moments later. Thank you for calling the desk of Brian Wright, the case manager of the executive education team. Call me when you can. Thanks, Spike. Just another thing to worry about. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Being in a deficit for so long, maybe like two and a half months-ish. I think my body is so slowly starting to get back up to its moderate weight, so I'm probably weighing between 172, 176, somewhere around there right now. So that means you gotta tighten the belts because it's gonna be into a fat boy. Want one? I'd better not. Uh, I have what doctors call a little bit of a weight problem. Sorry guys, I'm actually getting a call right now. Hello? Do you a solid and finish off the rest of the video? Uh, I mean, I guess I can let you do the rest of the video. Great, because nobody really likes the workout footage, it's really boring. You know, some people actually like the workout parts of the vlogs. Oh yeah, right, of course they do. Okay. So guys, while we're working with the college stuff, moving to the apartment, getting electric set up, getting the internet set up, we need to build some furniture, and no better way to do that than do what we need to do, build some desks, build some freaking side tables, let's get this job done. The first lesson here in building anything is getting the freaking thing out of the package itself. So know what we're gonna do? Get our trusty handy dandy knife over here, cut the package carefully, rip that open, lay out all the parts, don't even read the directions, just put it together. Oh, you might be thinking to yourself, as Cameron, the last time we saw you do this was with Michael Corey when you were building that back hyper extension machine. Guys, do you really need directions or do you even need anything to build something? We've all played Fortnite, we know how it all works. It magically just comes together, you screw it in like so, and eventually it just becomes a table that you can use. If I want to say something funny or witty or do an impression, I will no longer ever do any of those things. Does that include, that's what she said? Mm-hmm, yes. Wow, that is really hard. You really think you can go all day long? Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so. That's what she said. <laughs> All I do is play it cool. I'm a young boy, never play it by the rules. She a rat, she a tool, so I bought that to ask. Now, as Shia LaBeouf said, just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. If you want to build a table, build a table. You don't need to go to IKEA to get the highest quality furniture. Got this fat baby from Walmart, ten dollars. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Going to the apartment. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true! Just do it! 
from the time that you all are watching this, I'm done with my summer sessions in marketing and management. So Cameron, what have you been doing? Did you ace your classes? Of course I did. Like, I'm a brainiac. It takes a gene ass to pass all those classes with the summer session, traveling, and uh, just being just being an overall genius. Anyway, I've been snapping necks and cashing checks. I've been eating some really good food. I've been running around trying to get all this apartment stuff done. And uh, it's been a pretty hard time trying to get everything ready for my roommate and I, getting all these classes picked out and ready to go. And then uh, my birthday coming up in the near future. I've said it before and I'll say it again, coming down to downtown Toledo compared to Perrysburg is a completely different feeling. I don't really like coming down here because it's, it's pretty scary, but your boy, I think can handle himself, played goalie for four years of hockey, did karate for 12 years, got two black belts. I think I can handle myself pretty well, but coming down here is a completely different creative area. There's a lot of things I haven't explored down here. So getting new pictures, getting different content, a different feel is always good trying to change up things and uh, let my creativity just flow. I'm just like Buffy, I'm getting money, got no time, be out here playing hubby. This ain't no killing blow, but damn it, I am pissed again. Jerome, you wanna make a record? Ah, uh, this again, I'll eat the weapon, I murder each time I grip the pen, your shorty slipped and fell. With going back to college, I foresee one of two things happening. I'm either gonna keep making content or it's all gonna fall apart and go by the wayside. So if you remember last year, I was like, oh, I can do two, three videos a week. Uh, no, it was more like one video maybe a month and then eventually I got into a creative funk and it never really lasted until the middle to beginning of 2018 where I really found my place and my creative space really blew up and I really enjoy what I'm making. So what I really want to do is two videos a week. So maybe one in the beginning of the week, maybe one at the end of the week. And I really want to focus on making my creative best and showing the world what I'm really made of and getting more out there and showing you guys what Athens is really about and what the college is like all around. It will be a pretty interesting time, really combining two of the worlds colliding now that I'm more confident in what my content cre creative space is and more people are watching it around the nation or the world or whatever. So I hope you guys keep following along, hit the subscribe button, like the video, holla at your boy down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next banger.